kale uh, is, is a great crop. It's very, very easy to grow. A lot of people will confuse it with the green curly kale that would have been fed to, to cattle and still is. Um, but there's a lot of different varieties that you can use, which are very versatile vegetable, very, very nutritious, and, and really, really pretty bulletproof, aren't they? Oh, yeah, very easy to grow. Yeah. yeah. I, I often grow far too much, more than I need, because I think it's so ornamental. It's mm. one of the most beautiful vegetables yeah, you can get. I agree, yeah. So the, the way we sow the seeds is we have a modular tray and fine seed compost. And then we fill it up by just rubbing the lumps away. So nice and full, overfill it first. And then don't compress the modules with your fingers. The only firming you need to do is two, three firm bangs and that'll settle the compost nicely into it. Of course, when we cut off the excess compost, we sow them about fingernail depth or about one and a half to two centimeters deep. So you make little holes, indentations into the cells. I find it the easiest is to put seeds onto a piece of paper and with a pencil or pen you put one seed in each cell. When you're finished you put fine seed compost, overfill it again and then scrape it off and that's it, that's ready. You just water it in gently, don't overwater. Overwatering is just as bad as underwatering because the seeds may rot away and that's it. Same applies really, w w the usual into the plug tray, probably about four to six weeks. Yeah, yeah. same than we the, the other, all the cabbages, cabbage yeah. family tribe, you know the brassicas so-called, Yeah. they're all the same. Yeah. They're yeah. all very quick to germinate within a week and within four to six weeks you can yeah. plant them out. Yeah. Um, these are real favourites of mine, Klaus. <laughs> Nero de Toscana. Italian kale and then we have a red Russian kale. Um, what type of soil are the, are our, is our kale going to like? Uh, being a brassica, you know, the more fertile, the better. The bigger they grow and the more you get for them. Yeah. So high nitrogen content. Okay. Plenty of farmyard manure added previously, you know, in autumn time or early spring. What about distance apart? How far apart do we plant them? It's quite wide, two feet. Let me measure the two feet. One, two. So that's here. And if you put one in the gap put here, and then one here. Yeah. There's, there's no extra work involved after. It's just wait till you have to harvest them. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. bulletproof. Absolutely. Okay, and check for the usual pests, cabbage white butterfly and cabbage root fly. So uh, we just need to have a look under the leaves and uh, we'll see little clusters of, of yellow eggs from the cabbage white mm. butterfly. And we're basically just rubbing them off. That's right. We? And I'll do that every week now. Check them for caterpillars or eggs. Yeah. They seem to be tipping along nicely. They're quite easy to grow, really, aren't they? That must be the easiest vegetable, really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The one mistake I always make is plant them too early. Yeah. You know, we're in July, I could eat kale. Yeah. But who would eat kale in July apart from you, Andrew? <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd really want it in, in winter time for Christmas. Oh, so. I love to eat it all day long. We're looking at uh, harvesting them now, Klaus. Okay, I mean, they're, they're, they could get a lot bigger than this, but. Uh, just to, oh, you to can always take a few leaves every week, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But it's important to leave the right amount of new leaves. Yeah. You know, the plant needs to continue needs growing. To live, if you yeah. over harvest it and just leave a few leaves, it's very damaging. So we'll, we'll yeah. do one. And the way you should harvest it is by removing the lower leaves. And they come off nice and clean yeah. on the stem. Even if they are not usable, you should harvest them, pick them off. Right. Especially so. And that reduces the... the, the pests and diseases then okay, okay. later on. We'll give them some poultry pellets and we'll earth them up as well a bit if we can. It's a manure mix. Yeah, both composted separately and then mixed together and compressed into pellets that you can yeah. handle easily. That's really giving the plants everything we need. We're just everything they need. Just scattering them on the trace elements from the seaweed and the major nutrients, the NPK from the yeah. poultry pellets. And the rain will just wash the nutrients into the soil then. And don't forget, you also harvest the leaves away that are yellowing, that you want to compost. Okay. Don't just harvest the good. You have to eat a vegetable. If you get a, give up wheat yeah. and cereal, you have to eat cabbage stalks. <laughs> mm.